Life insurance is if you have somebody or some people, family members, spouses, kids, parents that are financially dependent on you. Yeah. Right? That, that's typically what life insurance is for. If you're no longer here, your income is no longer here. What impact is that going to have on your family, whether it's your spouse, your kids, whoever is financially dependent on you? If it's a wife or a husband, are, are they going to be able to maintain mortgage payments? Uh, daycare is obviously very expensive for little kids. Maybe college funding could be an issue. It's that income replacement, right? We're not we're not really aware of some of the things that life insurance can do. Right. But generally speaking, Steve, there's, there's two types. There's term life insurance and there's whole life insurance. There are some other ones in there too, but I don't want to get too involved. In, sure. But um, generally speaking, the short-term life insurance is that it's for a short period of time. You can get a lot of coverage for a fairly inexpensive cost, but you have to qualify for it. They don't just give these things to to anybody. Um, but term insurance is there's it's like renting a home, right? There's no equity, there's no cash value that grows in it. It just it's a death benefit. It pays out if you die early, right? Um, then there's whole life, is which is that it's like you have it your whole life. You cannot outlive it. And with whole life insurance, there's really two big components there. There is the death benefit as well. And there's that cash value column in there as well. There's a savings component in there that, that there, there's cash value that grows in there and it's guaranteed to grow. Mm. Uh, there's different ways to structure it. And it's been around for 200 plus years. Uh, we're just not educated on it. Things change over time. You know, things, usually it's like technology. Everything gets upgraded over time, right? My, I'll give you an example. When I got my first whole life policy, which is also called the cash value policy, it has a death benefit that's going to grow and it has that savings component, that cash value that's going to grow. It's going to grow a lot more than it does in a bank. So the first time I got that, I was in my, I don't even know, late 20s or maybe 30. And I got it, right? So there's something called custom whole life. Mm -hmm. That came out, I believe, in 2006. You know, when I first got my whole life policy, custom whole life wasn't around yet. Custom whole life is something that's proprietary proprietary with New York Life where you can actually customize how long you want to pay into this vehicle for. Mm. Meaning, maybe your budget is $200 a month, maybe it's $150, maybe it's $500. I have doctors that do $1,000 a month. So it just depends what your number is. But you can control, you customize how long you want to pay into it for. Say, for example, a lot of the cops that I work with want to retire at 55. So they say, Daryl, I want to pay into this thing until age 55 and be done. Well, they'll be done at 55 because that's the way we're going to customize it. But they're going to receive the benefits as if they were still paying for it, right? The cash value is going to continue to grow in it mm. and the death benefit is going to continue to grow. Essentially, Steve, what you're doing is you're just paying it up in advance. It's being paid up. Yeah, and it's continuing to grow. It continues to grow and it's not tied to the market at all. That's your safe money. That's your security. That's your buffer asset. And you can access that money. That, that money that grows in there, that cash value that grows in there, and it, it can grow fairly substantially. Mm -hmm. You can access, it's liquid, right? You don't have to wait till you're 59 and a half, like you do with some of the 401ks and IRAs. You um, you don't have to wait till you terminate from service, like you do with some of these deferred comp vehicles. It's a great buffer asset, it's liquid. You can use it to help fund college for the kids if you start at a young enough age. Um, it could be used to put down on a kid's wedding, maybe a down payment on a house. Or you could just blow maybe. it on a boat. You could blow it on, you could buy a couple boats after you retire, right? <laughs> you can buy a couple boats, whatever you want. <laughs> and, and, and it's all tax-free money. So say you have, I don't know, maybe just say for example, you got $150,000 in that cash value life insurance policy. You can take out $20,000 or $50,000 and that is not taxable income. You don't claim that as income during tax season because that's all after-tax money. The IRS knows there's nothing, nothing shady about it. This is something that the IRS is allowing us to do. We're just not educated on, on, on the benefits of it all.